Hello. My name is Detective John Fisher. I was investigating a crime some time ago, for there was a crisis in Edinburgh. Some residents had gone missing. I have already solved this case, but I tell you, it wasn't easy. Here is the story. At the beginning, I had no idea how horrifying this case was going to be. More and more people were going missing. I was called up to Edinburgh from London. The authorities in Edinburgh had reasons to believe that the missing people weren't just missing. At the beginning of this investigation, I was baffled. I couldn't figure out where these people had gone, who took them and why. There seemed to be no real motive. If these people had been murdered, then why were there no bodies found? I needed to find the answers. Hello, I'm Detective Fisher. Did you walk down this way a lot? Sometimes. What's your name? William Burke. Have you seen anything suspicious around here lately? No, not really. Okay. Thanks for your time. Can I help you? Yes, sir. I'm not sure if I should be here. What is it, son? Well, it's just when I was in Dr. Knox's class yesterday, we were given a fresh body to dissect, but the thing is, I knew this person. It was Mary Patterson. I told Dr. Knox I knew this woman and thought that something horrible must have happened to her. She was always so careful. But Dr. Knox said he got the body from a reliable source, and I was to stop asking questions. But sir, I saw Mary not two days ago. And sir, I think Mary may have been killed. No, don't get ahead of yourself. But thanks for coming to see me. You've been a great help. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. When that young man came into my office, I started to think... If that boy saw the girl only two days ago, then she must have died very sudden. In fact, that same day, for him to have seen her in his class yesterday, I thought I'd better go back and take another look around and pay a visit to this Dr. Knox. Hello, are you the detective? Yes. You hear about those people that are gone missing, aren't you? Yes, I am. Well, it's just that I... Go on. Well, it's just that my friend James, he's gone missing. Missing? When did you last see him? About two weeks ago. You see, he lives on the street and he often goes off. Does odd jobs now and then and could be gone for a few days. But normally he comes back and comes to see me. But I haven't seen him. Oh, I hope nothing's happened to him. I mean, like all those other people. Do know anything about those other people? No, really. I just heard people talking about this and how some of their friends have gone missing. There's a rumour going around that these people were killed. I hope James is all right. I'm sure he's fine. Th thank you for telling me. You've been a great help. More and more people were going missing, and now the public were starting to notice that. Unfortunately, I couldn't get in touch with Dr. Knox, so his assistant said she would meet me. Hello, my office. Hello. Thank you for coming. Please, have a seat. Is this going to take long? I'm very busy today. I understand that. I'd just like to ask you a few questions. Have you worked for Dr. Knox long? A few years. What do you actually do for him? Well, I schedule meetings, arrange classes, that sort of thing. Have you noticed any disappearances lately? What do you mean? Anyone, say, friends of yours gone missing? You don't think I had anything to do with that, do you? Do with what? Uh, the missing people. I didn't say that. 
Look, detective, I know nothing about these people. Stop wasting my time. Sit back down. I'm not saying that you had anything to do with the missing people. I would just like to know where Dr. Knox gets the bodies for his classes. He buys them from people. The morgue. Sometimes he gets them from these two men. I, I don't think I'm supposed to know about it. You see, he's, he's not told me. But I, over I, I overheard him talking to one of them. Who are they? I, I think their names were William something. Both? Yes. Was one of them called William Burke? Yes, that's right. Thank you, miss. You've been a great help. So far, I had found out that there were a lot of people missing. Even the public was noticing this. Now, young James had gone missing. His friend came to see me. The student who came to see me insisted he saw the girl Mary before he saw her dead. Was this somehow linked? And William Burke and William Hare deliver bodies to Dr. Knox. And that's when it hit me. The grave robberies and the murders were linked. When I first came to Edinburgh, the detectives told me how they had trouble with people digging up corpses and selling them to the university. They said there is now a watchtower at the cemetery so people can't steal bodies. So now they are killing people for the money. Later that night, I got a message to meet a Mrs. Gray in this street. She had some important news for me. Hello? Are you Detective Fisher? Yes. Is something to tell me? Yes. It was something I saw. Last night, I was at Halloween party at Mr. Burke's house. This morning, I went back to get my children's stockings. He was acting strange. He wanted me to go. I waited till he left, and I went back. And I thought, I saw the body of an old woman. It looked like she'd been strangled. Are you saying it was Mr. Burke who murdered her? Yes, and his friend, Mr. Hare. See, when I found the body, Miss McDougall, she's Mr. Burke's lady friend, came in and she told me all about how they kill people and sell them to the university. Of course. It all makes sense. Thank you, Mrs. Gray. You've been most helpful. William Burke! Under arrest for the murder of Mary Patterson. William Hare was also arrested that night. Unfortunately, there wasn't enough evidence to convict both of them. So, William Hare was asked to give King's evidence against Burke. He did. Burke was found guilty and was sentenced to death by hanging. Hare was set free. I did protest, but there was not enough evidence. He left Edinburgh and went to England. No one ever saw him again. So the case was solved. Edinburgh was safe once again.